everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today is a super cold like 17 degree day so we are spending a little time inside this morning because I'm not looking forward to going outside and feeding the animals in the cold. So I am taking off my red thread right now and switching to white. My winter coat needed um, some work on the zipper so we are doing a little bit of clothing um, and accessory item repairs. Bethy has got a pair of slippers that are in need of some stitching. And George has a foot in his pajamas that has come out. His little feet have grown so much that he just pushed right through the stitching apparently. I would rather repair it than toss it because there's so much more wear left in it with baby clothes. It was just a bad stitch to begin with, I guess. Um, and Trey has his favorite Dickies jeans that he likes to wear and the previous patch needed a secondary patch and his other leg the knee ripped out also. So to keep that little guy happy, he does not care what they look like. And this little guy is eating his little cereal and Beth is having her cereal this morning. But I try to patch up Trey's pants the best I can. He, being the third son, gets everything super wore out by the time he's done with it. So, this is little baby's jammy. More, more. George is sitting next to me in his play seat. It keeps him so busy while I work. So I see that there's a little hole started on the other foot of this also. So I am going to stitch that right while I'm working on this. This little. This is a three month outfit. And, well maybe it's a six. Yeah, this is a six month outfit. And it says it goes to 16 and a half pounds. So he's not really fit and roll well in it. Their cloth diapers make them so fat that he um, needs to go up to the nine month size. So for Christmas he got a couple of those and we have boxes and boxes but you can see here oh it, it actually wore through from all of their kicking so it didn't come unstitched. So we're going to actually make that just a tad smaller to make it wearable and sew it up. Here I've got patch jeans for George or for for Trey. I doubt that George will actually wear these because Trey's actually wearing them right out. So I just put um, a patch of material there from a pair of Dad's old pants that the zipper blew out. When Dad wrecks his pants, they're beyond fixing. Trey, however, can get a little more wear out of them, so it doesn't look great. <laughs> But he doesn't go out, the kids don't go to public school, and no one is picking on them or making fun. And Trey is proud of his patched up pants. So this pair is all set. Both, both knees are patched up for him. Hiya, baby. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay here. If you've seen our other videos, Trey's quite the farm boy, and he wants work clothes. and it will be patched up good as new. I cannot believe they wore right through this. Um, we do a hand-me-down of all of our old clothes. So to me it's important to patch it before I store it so that it's all set. 
and eventually um, some clothes get handed down to my grandson and my granddaughter and when they no longer want them then we'll donate them to somebody else maybe we'll go to another country but this is just a small minor repair and for a baby just starting to wear the size it's not going to be a problem stitching at the end. So if you saw the video for Christmas, um, I got George some pajamas and they are $16 a pair and I got them buy one get one for a dollar I think. A lot of times they're buy one get one half off. So we have saved all the clothing from all the children and this really helps us in being frugal by doing little sewing repairs. So on a day like today, I'll have three or four sewing projects. Dad's got a pair of pants that he caught on something. He's got a little L-shaped hair on it. And this time of year, he is wearing Carhartt bibs over his clothes. So he doesn't care if they're patched up either. My guys are pretty simple that way. It's like they think if they have a patch on their clothes, it's a badge because they work hard. <laughs> now, when I was a young girl, we had to do a small segment of home economics in um, school. And I said before, we, my husband and I both went to public school. And in high school, it was an elective. So I actually signed up for sewing class in high school and it got dropped. There wasn't enough students signed up for it to warrant um, the teacher's time. So they dropped it and then that was it. Eventually they dropped sewing all together and pulled out all the sewing machines. So if it's something that you can pass on to somebody else, it's a good thing. My daughter uh, didn't have interest in sewing and like for her wedding gift, I gave her a mending kit and a sewing box so that she would pick up that stuff because she's always just given it to mom. And now that she's got kids, she needs to learn it herself. So this is what I've got going on today, just a little bit of sewing repair. <laughs> giving this guy some food. Yes, he's a lot quieter when he's eating. He's a lot quieter when he's eating. Um, so yeah. If you're donating or giving away clothes or handing them down, it's really good to patch them because um, the younger generations don't sew and, and don't do mending. So then they end up just getting tossed. And the thrift shops really don't do this. Um, there's one thrift shop that I go to in uh, St. John's sometimes, and it's a St. Vincent de Paul, all ran by volunteer um, retirees. And they keep a washer and a dryer there and mending um, things and they look over all the clothes. So I really like to shop there because it's supporting that and It gives those ladies something to do and it saves my All right, so now this little slipper I had to use this big Darning needle Which is actually used for yarn and This is called a whip stitch that goes around here. So I got that all up, but now I ran out of the thread um this is more like a heavy braided thread, if you've seen these moccasin, moccasins before, but these have to go back to my granddaughter. And I actually received them from my daughter in need of repair. So Bethany's been wearing them, but they've come unstitched again. So I have to try to get this last bit in here, and um, it's not long enough. So I could go through and undo the entire thing. Upholstery th thread is really good for this. Baby is super hungry this morning and he's making all kinds of noise while I am doing my work. So he's sitting next to me eating. Yeah, he's having his little, little baby cereal. So let's see if we can attach this. 
first I'm gonna start out with a little knot here and I'm gonna try to get this through knotted. I don't know if it'll work. I realize that, you know, this kind of stuff only costs a couple of dollars, but I really just hate to toss it when it still has plenty more use in it. You are so full of it. Yes, you are. Okay, so we're going to try just to get that through there one more time to figure out about tying it off. So my thread's going through. Okay, so this is why and the reason for the repairs. My red coat, as old as it is, was probably like 80 or 100 bucks. A zipper cost $6. I had a 40% off coupon, maybe 50%. So let's say it cost, I don't know, it, let's say it cost $4, okay? The thread for this, I already had, it cost me nothing. So, say a hundred dollar coat, ten dollar pair of slippers, eighteen dollars for new pajamas, cost me nothing to fix, and Trey's pants are about twenty five dollars a piece, and it cost me zero to fix because I reused material and thread that I already had on hand. Totals today's repairs cost me four dollars, say for the zipper, and let's see, we're at 125, 35, 45, 152 dollars for a new coat, new pair of slippers, new um, pajamas, and new pair of pants. So I didn't go out in the cold. I didn't crash the car in the icy roads. My kids didn't go out and get the flu, so I saved money on having to do um, gas or car repairs or doctor's visits, and I only spent $4, and I am in the process of um, doing more repairs for later on in the day. So we end up saving money, saving our health, and I'm not going outside in the freezing cold this morning, so that makes me happy. And it is an hour till noon, so I've still got plenty of time to get out and give the animals their food and water um, while it's warming up. So thanks for watching, everybody, and happy sewing and mending. Save all your stuff for a rainy or bad weather day, and enjoy some time inside.